Okay, so are you an aspiring esthetician or a beginner esthetician and you're wondering, you know, what are some essential equipment pieces I need to get started in my esthetician business? So like you're basically wanting like a starter package, like just to get started in moving and getting clients in your door and earning some money. So I, I'm gonna touch bases on this, uh, this topic today because uh, me doing my own research and hearing other estheticians, this is one of a common question that get asked a lot, whether you are currently doing an esthetician work or you just graduated and you about to start and you're kind of just wondering like you know what equipment you need to get started so I'm going to show you exactly what you need to get started in order for you to become more successful in your esthetician business okay specifically solo esthetician this is regarding solo estheticians if you're working for somebody this can apply to you too but more so when you work for someone they already have like products and supplies that you need but in today's video i'm more so going to talk about the equipment aspect of getting started in the esthetician uh, field so don't go anywhere Welcome back to SBE Aesthetics. I'm your licensed esthetician, professional makeup artist, and here on this channel, I show you beauty, lifestyle, entrepreneurship videos, and all about being an esthetician, which helps benefit you to become a better you. Number one, there are some essential pieces I, as an esthetician, which has been, let me see how many years, like six plus years since I've been an esthetician, some essential piece, pieces that I think that you can benefit from, uh, just if you're someone starting out, you're a beginner, or maybe you just wanna try something new that you might not have. I'm gonna specify some pieces that you may want to carry. And so it's gonna be a little different today. I'm actually gonna take you with me, probably just show you what I have and we're gonna go do it that way. And so let's get started, let's do it. Okay, so forgive me if the lighting looks different. I am in a complete different area of my spa and I can't like transfer the light with me. I'm still trying to work on that. But anyway, we are here in one of my rooms. Uh, the room that we were just in is basically my room where I do makeup. This room specifically is the room I do like my facials and Brazilian waxes and stuff. Here, this little beautiful thing right here is the towel warmer right here. This is crucial. This is something that you definitely want to have on hand in your uh, esthetician business. Why? Because this in here, you can warm up your towels. This is how you get to lay those hot towels on your client's face or their neck or their decollete area and make it very comfortable for them and relaxing. You can also, uh, what I tend to do is keep, in order to keep my water warm, I will put my bowl in there. Like if I'm waiting for a client, I will put my bowl in there so that the water can be heated. So you could put many things in here, even some products, just be careful that they can be warmed up. Up, but products that you might want warm when you're uh, about to get started on a service you could put in a towel warmer always always keep in mind though when you're using a towel warmer at the end of your uh at the end of the day make sure that you clean your towel warmer out every service at the end of your day with uh, alcohol i always use 91 percent because i feel like if they had 100%, I'll use that too, but the higher the percentage, the more it's gonna kill bacteria and stuff, so keep that in mind. So I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna show you guys. Now, mind you, I have had mine for quite some years, and it's been giving me, it's been going. As a matter of fact, I think I've been having it for six years. Yeah, I've been having mine for like six years. If not six years, five. I know it's been one of them, but it's been serving me. Like, I, I keep up with my stuff. I try to manage it. I want to show you. I don't know if you guys can see, but like this is what it looks like. And you can put towels at the top. You can put towels at the bottom. This is really usually where I keep my bowls and stuff at. Um, so yeah, you can you can do all that. This right here is the power button right there. So and I just got this little candle light that I got from the Dollar Tree some years ago. Now here, if you see these paper towels right here, I do have the, this because a lot of times uh, when we when this is on like for hours or however long it drips so you know the moist the the uh, humidity it drips and then it can sometimes leak so what i decided to do was put like little paper towels right there and let it sit and then replace as needed so that's that's what i decided to do okay moving on okay next on the list 
is the double wax warmer. Uh, it does not have to be a double wax warmer. You need a wax uh, machine or equipment if you're offering waxing. This is really crucial. Uh, it's very cost effective. I got this again maybe five or six years ago. It's been serving me purpose. I don't have anything in that one over there. But then over here, I have a little bit and you know, it serves me my purpose. This, so with this one, I only use for my Brazilian wax. And then this one right here is my new free one. I've been having this again for five to six years. So a lot of this stuff, what I really love, it serves the purpose. It serves what it does, you guys. You wanna get things that is gonna last. And even if it is on a cheaper end, it's all about how you take care of your equipment, okay? Because if you take care of it, it will last. But you can't be rough with it, you have to care. And when I mean like rough, that means you have to be cleaning and disinfecting and wiping and making sure you turn things off, not leaving nothing on. You have to stay up to par with that. So. Yeah, so this is um, this is the wax, the new free. So I use new free. I really like. They say it's not a wax. I have to dig more into it, but it's not wax. But um, surgeons use that type of. Uh, I'm gonna say it's wax. It's something else, but it's wax, but it's not wax. But they use this like when they have to perform like an emergency surgery on someone. They'll hurry up, use that wax, take the hair off, and boom. So it's really good. You could use it for all over the body. That's what I love about it. In the face. The next one is the steamer you guys this steamer right here okay this is been serving me now this right here i had a steamer uh, some years ago and it broke down on me but this baby right here i think i had for like a year no two years so i've been having this one for two years it's kind of like brand new to the to my spa but i really love it uh you want you want to make sure you get yourself a steamer if you don't have one this is really really crucial definitely when you're doing your facials and all that you guys you want to really make sure that you get yourself a steamer because this machine right here is going to help open up your pores uh, help your clients uh with facials while opening up their pores getting ready for extractions you know making them relax i mean it's it have so many purpose uh with the machine even sometimes like when i do like my back treatments uh i use that for back acne you know so it can open up the pores so it can be easier for me to extract so that is three so far so i showed you the towel warmer i showed you the wax pot and i hope you guys can see me like again like the lighting in here is not so great but and then uh, i showed you guys the uh, the steamer <laughs> Let's move on down. So this one is gonna be a little low. This right here, you guys, I'm gonna just put it right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but this right here is the sterilizer. So this baby right here is really, really good when you're, uh, when you're, uh, after you clean your utensils and, and sterilize them and stuff, this is going to be really good as well because you, of course, you have to sterilize. You can't miss this. You see, I have all my, uh, I do a lot of microdebrages, so I have a lot of them in there, um, and I keep them in there until I'm able to put them up. But yeah, that's what that does. You need one of these. That's not optional. You need that because you want to make sure you get bacteria and fluid, bodily fluids and stuff really off your utensils but before you use that sterilizer you have to scrub wash your utensils what i do i scrub and wash my utensils and after i scrub and wash my utensils i use that 91 percent alcohol and then i put it into this little guy that you must have too i'm sorry this is so hard but this is my uh my disinfected box right there and so you want to use that after you get done scrubbing and after you get done scrubbing your utensils wiping them off with alcohol putting them in your barbicide inside your barbicide box that i just showed you um well it's not a barbicide box <laughs> but putting putting them in that container that is filled up with barbicide half barbicide and some water and i'll show you the barbicide what i'm talking about so that little box i just showed you you want to make sure you fill it up with this okay and add a little bit water to it when you do it okay all right y'all this one right here is optional i made the investment to get it because my clients would sometimes uh, <laughs> feel like they're slipping away 
when I do their facials. And I know that comes from not having your legs elevated. So I got this little elevation pillow for my clients for the back of their knees. So it doesn't feel like, you know, when you're too relaxed, you almost feel like you're not in your own body. So this is really good when you have clients that feel like, woo, you know, almost slipped away. You probably need to invest in one of those. Um, yeah, those are, so those pieces that I showed you, those are the main pieces of equipment that you... Okay, so that completes my little equipment starter uh, package tour. I hope this really helps. I missed out. You guys need a bed. You need a facial bed. <laughs> that is... that. You can't do facials without a bed. Hello? <laughs> You need a facial bed, y'all. So make sure you get yourself a facial bed as well, okay? Those are the five pieces of equipment that you need to get started on your journey to becoming an esthetician. You have those things, you are doing very, very well. Now, if you're if you're kind of stuck wondering, okay, well, how do I get people in my door? Just start marketing services based on what you have. That's like the most uh, best way I could put it. Like, so if you have a facial bed, okay, Let's get people in the door and start doing facials, right? And there's other little things too. I'm gonna name off, you need a facial bowl. I'm probably not gonna show you these things because they're not probably here. You need a facial bowl, you know. It's, that's more of a supply, not equipment, but you need that. So kind of base your equipment off of the services you're going to be offering your clients. If you don't do waxing, there's no need for you to have a wax pot. So those are just some essentials though. If you are an esthetician that do a variety of things like myself, I feel like I consider myself like a makeup artist, a facial and waxing. I'm not really big on waxing, but my, my main uh, wax service is the chin and lip and eyebrows. So those are my main ones. I don't really advertise for Brazilians, but I do have people get Brazilians. But, you know, I don't really advertise for it, but I do offer waxing. So I have a wax pot. Uh, so if you are a person that just strictly do facials, you don't need a wax pot. Get the equipment that you're going to actually perform services on clients with. And yeah, so if you guys felt that this video was very helpful for you, if you feel like this little starter package ordeal I put together is great, Give it a thumbs up, you guys. And I'm sorry if my video come a little shaky. I, for one, uh, I'm, the light setting here is, is messed up because I forgot my little my little piece. But, you know, that's neither here or there. But hopefully you guys were able to see some of the equipment that I was showing you. If you want more videos as such for me to break down other things as far as being an esthetician or what should you be doing, how you should be marketing, and all those great, great, great things, please drop it in the comments down below and let me know and I will do it. Um, so yes, I'm not gonna keep rattling. Be sure to subscribe to my channel on SB Aesthetics youtube please give it a thumbs up you guys when you like my video it helps the algorithm on youtube for my video to be seen and shown so please do the honor and give it a thumbs up and if you're new watching and you're thinking about subscribing like i kind of like her i like her vibe i mean you know i resonate with her i love her personality what are you waiting for sis subscribe to my channel you know like let's do it <laughs> like that's how I be. I'm like, oh my gosh, I like this person. Subscribe. I do that. I be doing, boop, boop, boop. You know, nothing's wrong. You know, all love here. All love. All real and all love. Because I like to keep it real with love, okay? <laughs> and I like to be goofy sometimes. So, I mean, I guess I'm just funny. <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments if y'all think I'm funny. I don't know. But yes, uh, I'll catch you guys back with another video. Bye.